We have recently published um, the comparison of outcomes of percutaneous arteriovenous fistula creation by ellipsis and wavelength devices in the Journal of Vascular and Interventional Radiology. This is the first study comparing both endovascular AV fistula systems. Before the study was published, several reports have been published on each device, but not comparing both devices in a single center. At the time of publication, we have screened more than 150 patients, and we have seen that the eligibility for the ellipsis system is more than twice higher than for the wavelength system due to the anatomical criteria. 65% eligibility for the ellipsis system and 27% for the wavelength system. If we compare time from creation to cannulation, we see that for ellipsis device, it is 60 days, for wavelength device, it's 90 days, Comparing secondary patency rates, we have seen 82% of secondary patency rates for ellipsis device and 60% of secondary patency rates for wavelength device after 12 months. But functional patency was 100% for ellipsis and 85% for wavelength system. In my opinion, one of the main advantages is for ellipsis is that it is very easy to repair comparing to wavelength fistula. What we have seen is that a failed ellipsis fistula is easy to, to open with endovascular means, and a failed occluded wavelength fistula is not possible to, to, to repair. So in those cases, we have to convert to another fistula, such as ellipsis or a surgical fistula. And this is one of the main advantages. We can salvage much more ellipsis fistula than wavelength fistula. I think the most important message is that if you plan carefully the procedure if you look carefully into the anatomy then you can have very high technical success for both procedures you can see high secondary patency rates especially for ellipsis device you can see fast maturation rates and significantly shorter procedure times for ellipsis system the patients are satisfied with their fistula they can get fast cannulations elimination of the catheter which is associated with higher morbidity and mortality rates. So our data supports actually um, the fact that percutaneous AV fistula are safe uh, for both systems, especially for ellipsis devices.